Hi again, I'm Philip Welsh, a uh, Paris-based production sound mixer. In 2018, I presented the Cozy to you, but today I'm back to introduce you to some nice features of the CineLab. The CineLab is able to perform acoustic and wind measurements. The acoustic bench is composed of a big tube for measurements below 300 Hz, down to 10 Hz, and a semi-anechoic open space for measurements over 200 Hz. The aim is to produce a frequency response of a wind protection unit by comparison between the nude and covered microphone. The wind test is produced by this rotating machine. So let me talk to you under the microphone in a classical booming situation. First, here's my voice picked up by a well-known Shops cardioid microphone. I highly recommend that you listen to these tests using headphones and in a quiet place. Then, here is the fabulous and tiny B5D holofoam, the so-called Pavarotti, was made by Shops since decades. It's a very, very nice unit. Let's now try the Leonard ball with the fabric finish. As the B5D, you may hear the attenuation, especially in the low end. Now hear the same Leo with its fur on. You may also hear the extra filtering in the low end and, of course, in the high end. Here is the Cosi in its fabric version for indoor use. A great tool to fight against swishes. Cosi is definitely the best compromise between size, efficiency, transparency and handling noises. Same cosy in its fur finish for outdoor use. As expected, there is filtering on the high end, but not as much as with larger windshields with longer hair. Now let's move on to the pianissimo with a fabric layer. If size is not an issue, this is certainly the most transparent tool for outdoor use, with limited wind, of course. Finally, here we go with the same pianissimo with long hair fur. Of course you'll have to face damaged transparency, but then you're ready to fight hard winds. And now let's move on to make some wind tests. Please note this is not being recorded on a location sound device with level settings. It's directly recorded on the measurement tool with totally flat response between 10 Hz and 20 kilos. The data acquisition system and the computer are fixed over the wind machine controlled by Wi-Fi. So before testing different wind speeds, let's compare some units at the same speed. As you can hear, there is a very high dependency between size and efficiency, but some other aspects have to be taken into consideration. The fur hairs themselves play a role as direct turbulence damper, but they also create a bigger volume, which is good for efficiency. By opposition to windshields, small windscreens may have some hard structure elements quite close to the capsule, leading to accidents on the wind noise. Full surrounding windshields do produce smoother noise spectrums. Now, here is a test showing the correlation between wind noise and wind speed. Speeds are chosen between 4 and 9 meters per second. Then we can compare all units in the same speed range.
It's very important to realize the incredible evolution of the wind noise amplitude depending on speed. In linear physics, if a cause is doubled, the consequence is also doubled. In fact, it would be great to have a noise increase of 6 dB each time the wind speed is doubled. That is absolutely not the case. For the B5D, the increase is about 25 dB between 4 and 8 meters per second. And for the pianissimo with long hair fur, the increase is about 19 dB. That's a nightmare, especially with gusty winds. And now let's make the last experiment, introducing wild tracks of ambient atmos. Here's an example of a low-level voice in a calm situation. This could be at night, in a quiet place, or even in the desert. And now, an example of high-level voice in a noisier situation. This could be next to a busy street and or on a windy day. As you have seen, a windscreen or windshield is always a compromise between many important factors. First, the wind protection device has to be chosen, also considering its transparency. Second, size matters. The larger you can deal with, the better the protection. Third, the induced wind noise is highly dependent on wind speed, especially with gusty winds. That's nature and physics. A windshield manufacturer can do his best, but not miracles. Fourth, the windshield is just the first step. The second step is the ambient noise itself. The louder the noise, the better the result.